विक्नेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल क्लाउड एंड ए एनालिटिक्स होप एवरीवन आर डूइंग गुड सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज क्लाउड फंक्शंस वन टू यूज क्लाउड फंक्शंस एंड फॉलोड बाय वी विल बी सीइंग अ स्मॉल एंड ऑन ऑन क्लाउड फंक्शन यूजिंग गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज ट्रिगर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वॉट इज क्लाउड फंक्शंस Google Cloud Function is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. So basically, Cloud Function is a serverless environment. What um, to explain you? What is serverless? Is nothing but uh, when we are configuring this particular service. For example, when you are configuring Cloud Functions, we don't need to worry about that infrastructure of that Cloud Functions and what is the machine configuration and how many instances we have to. um we have to create those things will be taken care by internally by google cloud itself we don't need to worry about those things in my next video i'll be posting a small video on uh, what is uh, server base and what is serverless base and what is the difference between server and serverless and what are the services which falls under server and serverless so we'll be talking more about server and serverless in the next video and for now we will be continuing with cloud function so google cloud function is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services it is a lightweight compute solution for developers so from a developers uh, point of view uh, we need to just focus on the code rest everything will be taken care by google cloud for example how many instances we should be configured or what is the infrastructure what is the machine configuration what will be the ram what will be the storage everything will be taken care by google cloud itself we have to just focus on the code uh um, either it is python or uh, java dot net go so we are as a developer we have to just focus on the code our code should not break that is the only worry point of a developer when using cloud functions so cloud functions when you write cloud functions uh, basically cloud functions are simple and it is a single purpose functions that are attached to events emitted from your cloud infrastructure and services so cloud function is basically an event driven based service so when a particular event happens then our cloud function will get triggered and followed by it will do whatever that code has to be done so it is an event based uh, service and when your function is triggered your function will be triggered when an event being watched is fire when a particular event happens then our function will get triggered so your code executes in a fully managed environment there is no need to provision any infrastructure or worry about managing any service so basically this point sums up what is serverless so we don't need to worry about the infrastructure or worry about any service it is basically um, everything is taken care by google cloud internally so when to use cloud functions the very next question is we understood what is cloud function and the next question is when to use cloud functions so imagine you want to execute some code when an event happens for example a file is uploaded in cloud storage uh, when a file is uploaded or when a file is deleted or when a file is archived in cloud storage basically then uh, we can configure that event with our cloud functions and that cloud function will notify us through log or through alert mail or through any email notification also so basically uh, cloud functions will be used uh, for this purpose and followed by there are many use cases this are the gen, like very common use cases which is used across the platforms so an error log is written to cloud logging when a message arrives to cloud pubsub and then we have we can write cloud functions in many like cloud functions supported by many languages such as node python go java dot net and ruby in my example i'll be using uh, python and we have to use only we have to pay for only what we use and what is the time our code get executed like only for that execution time let it execute for 1 minute or 2 minute 3 minute we have to pay for only that uh, amount uh, only for the time we used and uh, as i told you earlier it is an event so in our example we will upload an object to cloud storage based on that when we uploading we can see that uh, our function will get executed we will see that in example so that is the event here we will be uploading an object or a file to our cloud storage and trigger is respond to the event with a function called trigger so we will be using a cloud storage uh, cloud storage and based cloud storage file upload based on that our uh, cloud function will get triggered so functions take event data and perform actions it will take event data and what like it will um, perform action for for, for example actions like uh, notifying teams Uh, notifying team members or teams or notifying other team members using uh, email notification or sending an alert mail so this is the function which uh, will notify the end user or the other team members 
so events are triggered from cloud storage cloud pubs up https post get delete put options on from firebase as well cloud firestore and then it is used in uh, stack driver logging as well so next the time bound is so basically in cloud functions we have two generation one one is first generation that is uh, the default will be uh, one minute like cloud functions so it will execute for one minute and it will be supported till maximum till nine seconds nine minutes that is 540 seconds so the next cloud function that is generation two it will be like maximum you can support up till 60 minutes that is 3600 seconds so you will like i will explain you the time bound uh, in the next slide as well so that it will make um, more meaningful so the next is uh, cloud functions automatically spin up and back down in response to event they scale horizontally so cloud functions are recommended for responding to events are not ideal for long running process so this is where our time bound will come it will respond to an event and it will not run for a long time so till now uh, cloud logging cloud functions will be like uh, the maximum it will run till nine minutes and the second generation it will run for 60 minutes not for too long uh, too long ideal job like long running processes and all like we can't use cloud function it should be very minimum and first generation it will support from one minute to maximum nine minutes and second generation it will support from one minute to maximum 60 minutes so uh, to sum up cloud function is an event driven application and it is simple and a single purpose function only like we can use it only for a single purpose for example when you upload a file delete a file archive a file or some messages uh, published into a pub sub topic so that is a single purpose function so we will be using for that purpose and it belongs to, it comes under a function as a service and it is basically in a serverless environment so now we will see uh, it in practical so to do that i am going into my cloud console this is my cloud console just click on cloud function so to navigate to cloud functions you can find it here serverless under serverless this is my cloud functions so i have already created one environment so we will be using this uh, environment for the demo purpose now i'll show you how to create one more function as well so that you will get to see what is happening like function the first one is environment first generation and second generation still it is in the preview state so first generation this time bound is minimum one minute and maximum will be nine minutes so the function name will be to python so you can give whatever the name you wanted and the region is us central one us east one so i'll be going with us central one the trigger is so basically http trigger pubs pubs up storage pubs up cloud storage cloud fire store and these are the other um, trigger functions so we'll be using cloud storage and what the event type is when we are creating or when we are uploading a specific file in the bucket we can delete out out for the trigger and be like when deleting when archiving or on the metadata update as well so we will be using this creating and uh, for bucket i have already created a bucket in my cloud uh, in this same project so i'll be using this composer bucket 001 i'm just selecting it and then followed by uh, retry on failure like that will not be the case so this is the first generation like what is the difference between first gen and second gen concurrency can support one request but it can still up to thousand requesters and even sources eight trigger types so whatever the trigger time it has 90 plus even sources and the execution time is nine minute will be the maximum here it will be 60 minute max that is for http only and traffic management all those things so next we will see uh, the runtime build concept all those things so here we will be using the um, memory allocated let it be 128 mb 128 mb again this is based on the workload which cloud function is going to configure like timeout let it be 60 seconds and the service account no by default i am using this app engine service account the auto scaling the number of instances so it, by default it is from 0 to 3000 but uh, since it is this is a demo like i'll be using only 30 and if you wanted to use any runtime variable you can obviously use that as well for example environment i'll be using dev here and build this uh, we can add a worker pool that is the selected environment and we can add any runtime environment variable as well and the connection is like we will be using by default we'll be using all allow traffic allow internal traffic allow internal traffic and traffic from cloud load balancing we'll be using allow all traffic and egress type is like vpc connector by default we'll be using the default vpc connector we are not going to create any v custom vpc connector on all and security analysis by default everything is encrypted using google manage key and the image repository will be like google container registry key so i'll save this 
and then I'll click on this next. So in this runtime environment, there are the other different languages like .NET, respective version, Go, Java, Node, JSP, HP, Python, Ruby. So we'll be using 3.7, course inline editor. Of course, you can uh, upload a file. Uh, you can upload a zip file from the cloud storage or even you can upload file from uh, source that is GitHub repository. So we'll be using uh, uh, inline editor itself, the default function. So file name and then click on this deploy. So it will take around uh, two, two to three minutes to create, to deploy the cloud function. So after creating, you can see this generation, like you can see screen like this with the function one Python. So this is already created before the demo itself. So you can find all the details here, like how many uh, invocations, how many requests has been processed, all the monitoring tools here. And the details is obviously like US central one, 128 MB, 60 seconds and minimum instance is 0, 30, what is the service account and networks and things like VPC connector, all those things by default we are using. And obviously the source. So this is the source inline editor, which we are using and variables. We are not passing any runtime variables. We are not passing any build variables as well. And the trigger will cloud storage and the bucket is composer bucket 001 and permission. If you wanted to add IAM rows, basically you can do it from here and the logs you can find like we will be checking logs to see what is happening in our uh, once we upload the file and testing like if you wanted to test with any custom code also you can do it here and test that function and basically you can see and here you can see that version so what is the current version i'm currently i created one version and i updated the python code like previously i created the version using uh, not node.js now the second version it is deployed in using python so that current version is currently active here and this is my composer bucket, composer bucket 001. Now I'm just going to upload this cloud hierarchy.svg. So once after uploading it, you can see it here. So it got uploaded, it is uploading. Yeah, it got uploaded successfully. Just refresh it here and just come to logs here. You can see the respective file got uploaded or not. Like you, like basically the log function will get triggered. So in code, if you wanted to config that with any email alert, email notification, you can do it. So for example, you can see uh, it got uploaded cloud hierarchy.svg equal to equal to that is this, this is a custom message that I gave in the code GCS uploaded and it took and finished with the status. Okay. Like it took 57 milliseconds. So after this, uh, after you creating this instance, you can be, you don't forget to delete this instance. So that is more important because I am in the free trial. So that's it for this today's video. I hope you learned uh, something uh, new from this video. If you have any questions, please uh, post that in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. And I'll see you in the next video with a more interesting uh, uh, service from Google Cloud Platform. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.